Hey, hey. I'm never saying that again. Welcome back to my Inktober tour for 2018. This is part two of my Inktober tour series, so be sure to check out the first part. I'll share the link down below. As I mentioned before, there are some not safe for work pieces, but they have been edited. If you'd like to see the full version, check out my Twitter. I'll post the link down below to my Inktober Twitter moment. All of my first sale Inktober pieces are up on my shop, so be sure to check out the link below. At this point, we are on day 11. For this piece, I decided to work on my original character, Saru. She is a demon, and I always love drawing her. I really enjoyed the idea I had for this piece. I did struggle with executing several aspects of it, but overall, I'm happy with the final product. I used the marker paper for this one and overworked the paper in some areas. On day 12, I decided to work on another small piece. This piece I feel is a lot different than what I normally draw, but I really love how it turned out. I love drawing different bones, and I did want to make a matching piece to go with it, but I didn't have any time. I really enjoyed using the red on this one, and I think it was a great touch. I wanted to limit myself to only grayscale this year, but I just couldn't help myself. For day 13, I needed to draw something smaller. I had previously worked on a new chibi style, so I figured I would draw one of my original characters like this. I decided her name is Red because I'm original, and she originally has red skin. Anyways, I had a nice time working on this piece, although I wish I did do it in color. Also, I hope you enjoy them chicken wing legs. On day 14, I decided to follow the Drawtober prompt. I was feeling a little uninspired this day until I saw their prompt of delicate decay. This is another one of my original characters. She's one of my galaxy zombies, and I think she looks so peaceful. Some things are a little different than her original design, and I added them for the delicate decay prompt, but I really enjoy how they turned out overall. For the 15th day of Inktober, I decided to draw my dear unicorn. I've had this piece sketched up since September. I really love this piece. I never really draw animals, so it was very fun to experiment with something new. I was inspired by a deer I saw while I was driving. Nature is something that I have been drawing inspiration from lately, and that is how the flowers came about. This piece is one of my favorites from Inktober. So I get to day 16, and I'm working on a sketch for a redraw I want to do. As I'm drawing it, I realize it sort of looks like Jaina Proudmore. Once I saw it, I couldn't go back. I think it was the hairstyle, honestly, but I just felt so inspired to continue as Jaina. I tried something more loose with my lines and I really enjoyed how it turned out. Sometimes I feel like my lines all have to be perfectly uniform in width and I feel like that has made some of my work look stiff. I'm trying to work on that and this was one of the pieces where I pushed that boundary a lot. I'm glad I was able to push myself out of my comfort zone and it helped me create something I'm very proud of. This next piece was one I was so excited to work on. Recently, I had started watching makeup YouTube channels. I do not really wear makeup, but I love that it's another form of art. As I was exploring this new community, I found James Charles. He's so innovative and inspiring. The looks he creates are so groundbreaking. I love that he does more than just everyday looks. I figured this look would be nice since it was October and was an old Halloween look he did. I'll link the original image below so you can see it. This piece was harder than I thought because I did not have a dark enough Copic marker that was able to blend and create all the nice transitions. Overall, I had a great time working on this piece. Wow, so I feel like I did a ton of original characters for this Inktober. <laughs> Anyways, this is another original character. Her name is I Am A Fire Mage. She is one character from a comic my fiance and I are working on. I do not want to spoil anything, but I had a blast working on this. I hope her personality shows through in this piece. What kind of person? And do you think she is like? Let me know down below. Okay, so now we're at day 19. This piece has been one that over time has grown on me. I like to call her the Mushroom Witch. Also, she wants you to know that flower crowns are out and mushroom crowns are in. Ah, I really rushed this piece and afterwards felt very frustrated and how it turned out. Day after day though, she has definitely turned into one of my favorites. I really love how her eye and lips turned out. The addition of red really made her pop. Wow, we're at day 20 already. This piece is a really quick one. I call it late. I woke up late and had nothing planned for this piece. I decided to draw my persona really quick. I love how it turned out. I said, draw some Something, anything, see what we make. Overall, I'm happy with this fast doodle. I'm looking forward to creating more doodles like this in the future.
Thank you so much if you decided to stick around for the whole video. I had a blast creating each and every one of these pieces, and I hope you all enjoy them. I will be uploading part 3 soon, so make sure to subscribe to get notified. Let me know down below which is your favorite piece so far. All of the products that I used this Inktober will be linked down below. See ya! See ya, unicorn!